hey guys welcome back to another video okay so charm effect nails not a massively new trend but I really wanted to have a go because I think they look really pretty and elegant so I thought I'd have a go with the new magpie gel color that I have so I'll let you know all the colors that I use just in case you wanted to recreate these exact ones I used cherry pie pearls a singer pretty Polly Plain Jane, Black Betty, and I also use both of the top coats, Don't Be Tacky, and Let It Shine. And to draw the designs, I use the Magpie Striper Brush. So to get this effect, I did have to dilute the colour slightly. So I've got Cherry Pie here, and I'm just going to put a few drops onto a piece of plastic that I've got here. And then to dilute, I just use a couple of drops of the Let It Shine top coat and this just makes it a bit looser now it looks like I'm mixing this fast but I have sped this up but I would mix this thoroughly but slowly just so you don't get air bubbles in it and I'm just using a silicone tool there because they just clean up really easily so on my pop stick here I've got one layer of pearls a singer cured already and I'm going to go in with the second layer and I'm going to leave this wet and what will happen is when you add the diluted cherry pie it will spread out really nicely and create a lovely effect so I'm going for a sort of rose effect here and I actually find <laughs> the messier you work the better the actual big blobs of gel polish that you use are going to spread really really nicely and just give you a really lovely effect which you will start to see in a moment as that starts to spread out. And if you'll notice I've got a tiny little air bubble up on the left hand side there but that just easily pops with the tip of a brush. So once you finish adding your product you can just wait for that to spread how you like it and then all you need to do is cure that in your lamp. And then add your top coat that you're using. I'm using Don't Be Tacky on this one and you just need to cure that and that's that nail done. So for the next one, I've also done the same with Loopy Lou, which is this pink here and I'm gonna use both colors on this one. So I've got one color of Plain Jane cured and then I'm just gonna go in with the second coat and again, leave that wet and then on this one I wanted sort of like sprays of flowers so I just started in opposite corners and just basically just made up some random spray pattern and as I say the the more that you add the the more it sort of spreads and once that was starting to spread I just went in with the other color and put it directly on the top and again, leave that to spread how you like it. And this design, I actually double cured it, so it went in the lamp for 120 seconds, just so I was sure that everything had cured properly. And then here, I've just got Plain Jane on its own, not diluted, and I'm just adding some little dots so they resemble flowers. So cure again, and then add your top coat and cure again, and then that's that finished nail. So this one using plain Jane again as my base so just adding a wet layer and then I just started in the middle with loopy Lou and fanned out to four sides and then I reversed it and came in from the sides and into the middle and you will notice I have another air bubble on there so again I just popped that before I cured it. So 
So this one I'm starting out with a base of Pretty Polly and then I use Black Betty for the design. And I really like this one because it was almost like an abstract smoky sort of design. And I just came in from the opposite sort of diagonal sides and just done some random swirls. But I really loved how the black spread on this colour. I think it was so pretty. And then I just went in with some blobs and obviously with blobs you can really play around like you can take the product and spread it outwards or you can cut through it with the brush and I just think it looks really effective. So those are the four designs that I had a go at. I think the rose one is definitely my favourite. You can get some great effects doing that. And there's no right or wrong either. I just think it looks really nice how the gel polish spreads. So I just think any design would look nice doing this. So I hope you enjoyed this one guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.